Okay, I want to do a quick video for um, all the people who haven't got mason bees, uh, who think they might uh, like to have them or look after them, um, and just want to test out their gardens and see what's uh, what's around. Um, I'm calling this a canned bee challenge because what we're going to do is basically set up some uh, some tin cans and uh, we're going to put uh, simple paper straws in them, uh, and I'll show you how to make them. Um, it's, not, it's not a it's not rocket science, um, but anyway, we're going to we're going to put together a, um, a bee can, and I'm just going to show you what you need to do it. And I'm going to challenge those of you who uh, who know where um, I hang out on the web uh, in the the campaign for solitary bees, and uh, on my YouTube channel um, and Twitter. And I'm going to say, right, if you've been thinking about it for a while, now's the time to do it. We've just uh, we're just really into spring, and the bees are looking for uh, places to to live and to nest. Okay, so what what we need? I've got. If we're going with paper, I've got uh, recycled bits of paper. I've got parcel paper. So we're gonna we're gonna do that one uh, first. Uh, you'll need a pair of scissors. There's a grotty old pair I got in the workshop. Uh, you'll need a, a tin snips, but I'm sure you haven't got those. You might have secateurs. Uh, so this is just for cutting a little bit of aluminium, and a tin can opener. Okay. Now, what you'll need if you're going to do some straws is some a pencil, a simple pencil. Doesn't matter what colour it is. It's going to be used as uh, something to wrap our paper around. Or if you're doing something smaller, uh, chopsticks. Um, and of course, if you haven't got some old masking tape. Uh, my dog's chewed that, so it's not going to be much use to me. But uh, another. <laughs> A roll of sellotape. This again, the dogs chewed that, but I think we can get uh, we can manage to stick the paper together. And of course, you need a can. Um, uh, there's a soft drinks can if you wanna. If you're not the sort of person to drink anything uh, alcoholic, and uh, there you go. I've just got a that's very obvious lager can, uh, which is um, sold around here as other cheap stuff. Uh, or you could just do some. Uh, there's an old gravy gravy container which is probably doesn't require any more cutting. So, the other crucial thing is, if you're doing straws, is mud. This is what mason bees uh, look for to seal up their their um, their tubes or their the cells that they make. So okay, what I'm going to do here is just take you through this. Okay, now, very very simply, there we go, we're going to start with just an ordinary piece of paper. This is really, really difficult stuff. We're just going to wrap this around. Catch <laughs> it off camera. There you go, pencil. Bit of parcel paper. And we're just going to make a simple paper straw. Now you can buy these, of course, from um, a lot of Mason B. I think usually about 10 cent centimes or 10, 10 pence a tube, and usually they've got to be uh, pretty thick because they're, they're animals that try and get through the side. But if you wrap it two or three times round, you should be okay. What we're going to do there, just do a quick get the idea. So, what I'm doing, I'm challenging you to, if you can, to make one of these, make one of these, make 30 of these and put it in the can and then we'll put it in the garden and see what bees are around and we'll come and talk about it later in the year ok well there you go, so we're trying to talk when I'm trying to do something multitasking isn't my... there you go, well, it's a bit scruffy and yes to all those people who are going to shout at me say you're using zellotape, plastic, all that for the nature, for nature. Um, I'm trying to recycle as much as I can. Uh, a bit of old plastic, a bit of old sellotape. Um, as far as our environmental in impact goes, uh, I think we there's worse. So if this is going to help a few bees live a little bit longer, then have a few more nests, then uh, I think it's one of these one of these calculations you have to make. Okay, so I'm making a very very bad straw here. Essentially, there you go. I made my straw. It's 
not that difficult. I just need to do the back bits. And this is how I started out in my um, my first my second year because the first year I made a specific box. And what happened was I, I ran out of um, tunnels. I had too many bees looking to nest. So what I did, I just got myself some straws, some of this parcel paper stuff. Uh, recycled envelopes are perfect. Uh, you just mean you just have to uh, wrap it round enough. There we go. Oop. So I'm not going to do 30 in front of the camera because obviously we're going to be here all night otherwise. But this is what you're going to have to, if you want to, what you're going to have to think about doing. Okay, so we have a paper straw. And believe it or not, that's perfect for uh, most mason bees, pardon me. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to do what mason bees uh, like. You can use cotton wool. I've done this with cotton wool. My first lot were, the bees still accepted it. They were so desperate for housing. I'm just going to plug it up with a bit of mud at the end. And as disgusting as that looks, once it's dried out, it's going to look perfectly natural to a bee. And then what I'm going to do... Down on the edge, and there you go. There you go. One, one yucky mud, mud plug. Uh, when it dries out, hopefully there'll be no light. If there's any light that comes through, uh, the bees will not really uh, take to it. They'll uh, they'll think that there's uh, the possibility of insects and parasites to come through. So there you go. That's one straw done. Now you need to repeat that uh, 20 times or so uh, to end up with with enough straws to fill a can. Here you go, it's a piece of ordinary white paper, photocopy paper, that, uh, I mean, people have tested it with uh, ink on, on both sides and it, it's fine, the, the bees are they're not reading, they're, they're, they're not sort of slowed up by it either, so I'm just going to cut that to about a similar length. Uh, well, I can just wrap it. So again... Probably edit this down, but some of those who know me right now uh, realize I've got computer challenges, so I can't edit any videos. This is why we're doing one of these terribly long minute videos. Okay, here we go. That's another straw done. Almost. So, this sort of thing that uh, anybody can do, obviously. Uh, it's a great project with uh, young people, those who just want to do it. And of course, it costs absolutely well, it costs nothing. We usually have paper and uh, printed paper to get rid of and um, to recycle. This is a perfect way to recycle it. There you go. Another straw on this one's white and trust me, the bees don't mind. So, I've got a white paper one. I've got a brown paper, parcel paper. And then I'm just going to squidge this mud in there. And the bees, when they find it, when it's all dried out, it'll take a day or two to dry. There you go. Yucky mud. So a bit of clay in here that, that tends to be good because it holds it together. So I do another 20 of those, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see that the bees like it. Okay, um, what you've got to do is prepare the can. Of course, we've got an ordinary can here. Um, I'm not gonna, it's not sponsored by anybody. But uh, what we have to do is uh, make the holes bigger. Obviously, we can't just put it through the spouts. So a simple, normally a simple. This is the person who uh, looks after the kitchen isn't going to be too happy, but usually it's meant to cut tins, so that's fine, it doesn't do any damage. This bit can be in the recycling bin. Now, I said secateurs. Now, if you use them too much, you end up with blunt secateurs, but there you go, very quickly around there. Why am I doing this? This is just to avoid cutting ourselves on the edge of the tin. If you need help with this, you do ask for help. I'm just going to cut this round and you'll see, bend it in. Just got to be careful this bit so you don't cut yourself. There you go, we're bending it in. There you go, one tin ready, and eventually this will go in here with a blocked end at the back when it's all dry. 
And of course, there's some I prepared earlier. These are some old ones I had from uh, from last year, which I haven't used, but uh, just because there's a little bit of light coming through the back, and the bees don't like it. But you get the idea. You put them in there. Some more straws over here, and you fill it up. Now, you don't have to do straws. You might have um, wildlife areas around you, but uh, some of us are lucky enough to have uh, fine reeds. Um, I've got some Japanese knotweed here, which is a big favourite of mine. So I put that in. I cut that to length. For example, I've got some I cut, and I just have to trim it down. So a nice length, usually about uh, at least uh, 12 centimetres. So here we go. That one's that one's going to be fine. So nice, if you can make it nice and clean there so the bee doesn't get tangled up on it with its wings. There we go. So, there's another reed. Oh, there's a lovely long one there, so I'm going to... What I'm doing here, I'm cutting it just before the node. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. It's just the other end that's not good. Anyway, you get the idea. So, the challenge is to get one of these constructed. Build yourself a can of straws, can of reeds. There's other reeds here, there's marsh reeds. I've got some here. And my challenge to you is to do this this week, before, uh, before the end of April at least, and put these out for the bees. Now, the, as the summer goes on, the bees get smaller. There's different species of bees, so it doesn't matter if it's uh, you didn't get here too quickly after the video has been made. If you can get one out by the end of April, well then this might be a good test for if you've got any bees around. And the, the thing to do, I mean, I've, I've got, uh, I've been doing it for a little while, so I make myself up little little boxes to hold these reeds in. You don't have to do that. You can you can put this under a couple of bricks, or a brick on either side, and wear a brick down and put it on a windowsill, and this is going to be fine. And this is what happened uh, with my bees in the second year. So there it is. That's the uh, that's a can bee challenge. Hope, uh, hope there are some takers and come and uh, let us know if you're uh, taking up the challenge on the Campaign for Solitary Bees uh, fan page on Facebook and uh, it would be great to hear how you get on.